What's up, Willowbrook? Today we are in John chapter 9, verses 13 through 23. Well, if you remember in the passage right before today's passage, Jesus heals a blind man. Well, today we read about this man being brought to the Pharisees, and the Pharisees ask him, what happened? So the man tells him he was healed. Well, we read that the Pharisees are, are divided, right, in, in how they respond to this. One part of the group says, there's no way Jesus came from God because he healed on the Sabbath. And according to their understanding and the rules and regulations of the Sabbath, they thought this couldn't be something from God. Whereas the other side of the group said, how could a sinner perform signs like this? How could a sinner heal someone? Well, then they come together and they think, you know what? I bet this man wasn't even blind to begin with. So they call the man's parents in and they ask the parents, is this your son and, and has he been blind from birth? And they respond, yes, this is our son. And yes, he has been blind from birth, but now he can see. Well, the parents don't want to say anything else. They don't want to say that they think Jesus is the Messiah because they'll be kicked out of the synagogue. They'll be excommunicated. And the reason for this is because based on the Pharisees' understanding of the law and, and of scripture, the Messiah that they were looking for didn't look like Jesus. The Messiah they were looking for looked like King David. They were expecting this Messiah to come and overthrow Rome and to bring Israel back to its independence and, and its glory days. In other words, they had put God in such a box that they were blind to the fact that God was there in flesh and blood. And how often have we done the same thing? How often have we put God in such a box that we miss him when he's moving around us? One thing I want you to hear today is this. God is not limited to our limited understanding of God. I'll say that again. God is not limited to our limited understanding of God. The Bible says that his thoughts are higher than our thoughts. His ways are higher than our ways. So today, as, as you, you live and you follow God, take that box off of God. Maybe you've, you've placed God in a box where you only expect to see him move on a Sunday when you're at church. Maybe you don't expect to see him move when you go to the grocery store or when you go to work or when you go to school or a sporting event, whatever it may be. Maybe you've placed God in this box. So let me encourage you today to take the box off of God so we don't become like the Pharisees, so we're not blind to the fact that God is present and he's moving around us. God is not limited to our limited understanding of God. Be blessed. Have a great day.